Oh my goodness sakes, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am out here in this three-sided shelter for a solo overnight camping in the rain adventure. I know it always happens to be raining in my videos, right? I am super, super excited about this because I've got the river looking out over here. I've got the rainstorm coming down, but I'm nice and protected. Um, I've actually got some amenities this time. I'm not way out in the woods. The car is not very far. I actually forgot my cot that I plan on sleeping on tonight, so I'm gonna have to hike back into the rain and get that. I got some good beers. I got a fantastic dinner to drink tonight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice fire in this handy dandy fireplace that we got right here. But before I do any of that, I gotta take a little nip off of the old Bud Nataflash. That is the good stuff that is Woodford Reserve. Woo! All right, let's get into it. I do anything else I think my very first order of business here is going to be to get a fire going um, it's not just raining it's also cold it is mid 30s right now so I did get a little wet from that as well so I'd like some warmth and some heat to, to kind of help dry myself out a little bit um, I do have moisture working clothing on and that's a big bonus but it's nice to have the uh, fire going as well so that is the first thing I want to do okay so the other thing is they did not give me any firewood um, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. Um, but, um, yeah. We're gonna get some firewood in here and we're gonna get a fire going ASAP. So let's, first order of business, let's do it. but that snap is a good sound. It means it's nice and dead and it's dry on the inside.
if you are new to the channel and this is your first video, welcome aboard. I typically don't do this. Occasionally I'll camp in a campground, but most of the time I'm off trail back in the woods, making my own campsite, um, forging my own firewood, doing all that stuff. So I'm no stranger to this. I wouldn't have had to do that today, but they didn't leave me any firewood. In order to get this fire started, all this stuff is a bit wet. I do think it'll burn. I do need a little bit of dry kindling. So we're gonna split these pieces up into finer chunks before I get my fire started. Yep, that baby is pumping. We are rocking and rolling. Time to get some bigger pieces on here. We want to build this fire up good. We really want to get this hot. We want to cook on this bad boy. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to keep me going all night, but we'll get it figured out. There's enough dead wood around. We'll figure it out. This stuff is punky, it's not ruined. Um, it's just wet on the outside. So we're gonna see if we can salvage this stuff. chuck one of these wet pieces in here and see what she does Ugh. and the rest can go up on top like that uh, we'll see if that does any good for it
So I was losing light. I didn't really have the opportunity to narrate it. It was a little difficult to film, but I went out and I checked a vacant campsite. I'm 100% positive it was vacant. Uh, I, I know it was vacant because I looked on the website before I came. There's nobody here. It's nighttime. Uh, but I wanted to check and make sure if they had firewood. They didn't have any. There was none lying around. I scored two decent sized workable dead limbs that were hanging up against other trees drug those back over here, saw those, processed them up. And along with the firewood that was completely soaked that I'm trying to get to burn, um, I think we're in business. So that only took like, you know, for you on the video, it'll probably look like, you know, maximum of two minutes, but it took me about two hours to get this fire up going like this. So, um, yeah, I don't know. In hindsight, maybe a, a, an Instalog is a better call, but <laughs> I don't know. That's how I'm used to doing it when I go when I go backwoods camping. So anyway, I am ready to um, kind of let that fire build up and get ourselves ready so that we are able to uh, cook dinner. But I think I'm also ready to crack into one of those beers. Not sure if I showed this, but uh, it's definitely working to have the uh, wet wood on top here. It's worked uh, at all the different stages. I don't know if I got shots of it or not, but there you go. You can see the seam coming off of it there. This is uh, Mommy Bay Fallen Timbers Red Ale. That is good. I like that. Yeah, I'm a definitely an ale man. No question about that. Man, this thing really does not want to dry. Okay, so for my shelter tonight, I've got this nice big, uh, you know, shelter, I guess. Um, but uh, so no tents, no bivy, nothing like that. I'm just gonna do a sleeping bag and I'm gonna do it on top of this cot. I've wanted to try this cot out for a while, but as you can see, it's just a little big for a backpacking type of setup. Um, you know, you can do that in addition to a backpack, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I do like this cot. I have tested it out at home and I think it's uh, very comfortable and it's nice. It gets you up off the ground. So we're going to put this together. 
and I'm just gonna sleep right on top of it, right in my sleeping bag, and um, easy peasy. So um, while I'm waiting for that water to boil, um, I will uh, get this caught up. I'll get this caught set up and we'll show you what we're getting into here. is pretty good. And like my great grandfather used to say, pretty good is hard to beat. The situation here is I was planning on boiling up some water, at least getting some water nice and piping hot um, to make myself some hot chocolate. Maybe uh, I also have tea, so I was thinking about maybe doing some tea, but that water is not even barely lukewarm. It's been sitting on there for 20, 25 minutes. Uh, it's certainly not gonna boil at that rate. Hopefully I'll be able to cook with the pan. In the worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to kneel on the ground and cook on the coals, which I've done plenty of times. So if that's what we have to do, we have to do. But let's see if we can not do that first. I'm gonna get the kettle put on the coals because that definitely has to happen. Either this is gonna work or it's not. We're gonna try it out um, by cooking the, the onions first. 
We're gonna try that on the stove top. If that does not work, then we will have to use the coals like we have done in the past, and that is not a problem. It's too thick, but it's not what I meant to do, but I don't have a thin enough knife to cut these things the right way, but that's okay. Too thick of onions is not the end of the world. Chilly. Not cold enough to snow, apparently.
Well, that turned out good at least. Moment of truth here. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, yep, yep. Let's try just for... Oh, just for the heck of it. Let's try a couple onions on here. This one's not as burnt. That is good. Those onions are definitely burnt. Well, except for the burnt onions, this actually turned out really good. I feel the need to tell people that the camera makes the meat look more red than it actually is. It's not actually that red. Um, it makes the fire look more red. It's an issue with the saturation. I'm, I'm trying to research how to fix it right now. So I'd like the colors to look a bit more flat and a, little, a bit more realistic. So, um, but uh, this is actually closer to like a medium. Um, it seems to be anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I wasn't getting uh, a good temperature reading or, or exactly what happened, but no, it's, it's medium well, it, it, or it's, it's medium rare. I'd say it's medium rare. It's not as, it's not as, uh, I know when the camera, it, it looks a lot more, um, less uh, done than it actually is, so. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this food and we will check back with you guys in just a little bit. not a great idea this place that I'm camping tonight not a, not a great idea it's a pretty poor place to camp but I'm going to camp there you're watching small plots with Kevin I'm Kevin let me uh let me run him into the woods here because I look I look like I'm going camping right now Good morning, everybody. That was not a bad night's sleep at all. Um, I feel very nice, very well rested. Um, I do have to work this morning. But that was a very nice getaway. And um, the pack up this morning should be pretty easy. So, um, okay. Let's get up and at him.
All right, guys, I'm back in the car. I'm ready for work. Actually gonna be a little bit early. That was a uh, really fun overnight camping trip. I appreciate everybody so much for coming along with me on the ride. We're gonna catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.